Hey guys, it's Crystal Ann Compton, and I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. In this video, I'm going to be answering a question submitted by a viewer, and I think it's a good one, and I kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit. Before I do, I just want to remind you that we have the Bliss Retreat coming up. Go to theblissretreat.org, you all, because it's going to be a fantastic time in Loveland, Colorado from August 29th to September 2nd, and when I tell you, we are going to be partying the way spiritual people party. And spiritual people party, by the way. We are going to be gathering. We're having sacred ceremonies. We're going to be doing fantastic nightly services with channeling and teaching. There's going to be workshops that are out of this world on things like chakra dance, things like astrology, things like connecting to the crystalline grid of Gaia, things like light language, things on mediumship. I mean, it's going to be so fabulous. We have incredible speakers. It's a wonderful time. So if you want to attend, if you want to meet other people who are a lot like me, because we always attract who we are. So other people who are motivated and who are there to experience on the same level, then please, theblissretreat.org. Check it out. Sign up. It's all going down. All right. In this video, let's get right into the question that we are being asked by H.O. Jinx Productions. Hi, H.O. Jinx Productions. This person says, I'm getting the number 33 showing up everywhere. It led me to your channel eventually. It's really strange. I've received some answers, even if I'm still learning about this new reality and the insights that it gives me. Any further advice that can be helpful walking this path? Well, let's start with the number 33. That is an important number. And I could tell you that you can go online and look up the number 33. I'm sure you all have already done that. You can look up the angel number significance of 33, and I'm sure there's a lot of information around that. I'm not super heavily into angel numbers because from teacher to teacher, it seems to change. I also think the wisdom around symbols, symbology, that exists within us, and a symbol will mean one thing for me and something totally different for you. So unless you take the symbol, which numbers are symbols, and take it into a meditation to discover for yourself what it means for you, you really aren't going to get a full understanding of what spirit is trying to give you. Having said all that, I will say 33 in numerology is a master number, and it's a cool master number because it's a combination of the two master numbers that precede it, which are 11 and 22. And there are a lot of people on the planet who are seeing 11, 11, 11, 111. They're also seeing 222, and again, 33 three or 333. Three, three. But it's a combination of the energetic attributes of the 11 and the 22. And it is the number of the spiritual master. It's the number of uh, sacred religious energy, not, not religious in the dogmatic way, but like sacred text, sacred knowledge, sacred information. And of course, it's a number that's very closely related to Jesus Christ. I don't know how you feel about that. You don't have to feel any kind of way in particular, but Jesus was 33 when he passed and went into the next dimension, but he's still accessible to us all in that fifth dimension. How are you doing, Jesus? But that's, that's a number that's commonly associated with him much more than when he started his ministry, much more than when he emerged on the scene, 33. And so that's connected to Christ consciousness. And it's also connected, Christ consciousness is connected to Buddhic energy, avatar energy, ascended master energy. So if I were you, I'd kind of go that route and see what it was trying to communicate to me. Christ consciousness is a frequency. Christ consciousness is an energy, and it's an energy representative of unconditional love. And so maybe spirit might be saying to you to find the areas in your life, in yourself, in your patterns, in your narratives that, that need that unconditional love and that need more love. Or spirit might be pointing you to this emergence into higher understanding higher teaching, sacred knowledge, so important. This is a season you're entering in, or perhaps a season that you've been in a while, but that's what this is about. So it's an affirmation, or it could be pointing you to the reality that you might be, you might be being called to become a teacher of these sacred things in some way, or a healer within the sacred energy. Also an invitation to understand Christ in a, a different way, Christ consciousness, Christ energy. The thing about Jesus Christ, big old JC, is that people have come up through so many 
religions and systems, Catholic, Lutheran, Methodist, Pentecostalism, fundamentalist stuff, that they have somewhat of an aversion to Jesus Christ as he's depicted in all these different systems. They have a problem with the dogmatic attachments that go along with Jesus Christ. But if we were to peel all that stuff away, which I've spent many years doing, many, many years doing, if we were to peel all of that stuff away, there'd just be an energy. And that energy is what the world needs now. It's love, sweet love. That's Christ consciousness. That's Buddha consciousness. So maybe it's about you really exploring what that means for you and connecting to that, maybe connecting specifically to Christ energy. And that Another thing about Jesus Christ is there's controversy around whether he ever even existed. Now, this is something is that's meaningless to me because it doesn't matter if he ever existed because he exists now in the form of a thought form. He exists now as a pattern of energy representing a certain frequency that we, so many of us venerate, so many of us honor, and we've been doing it for so long that this is a powerful thought form. This is a powerful pattern of energy for unconditional love. Now, there's other thought forms about Jesus that aren't that high in vibration, but that's pretty much what it represents to us. So it doesn't really matter if Jesus Christ walked the earth. It's the potential of what Jesus represents at its core, at its core, that we need to be paying attention to. So 33 to me feels like a lot about that. So you have to see how that works for you. But Let me close by saying that spirit loves to use these kinds of symbols. Spirit loves to use patterns, repetition, things showing up in your field two, three, four times. Somebody says the same thing two, three, four times. You got to pay attention to those patterns because that's how spirit likes to talk. Spirit loves to use sequences of numbers and especially these repetitive one, 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 two, two, three, three loves to talk to us in these types of patterns. And the reason it does it is because it's noticeable. When you see four different license plates with the same numbers or a similar type of message, you notice that. And then you have to then ask questions around that. It's an invitation from spirit for you to go deeper and see what they're offering. Sometimes it's just a signal. Sometimes it's just a signal. And I've been saying for years, can I get a witness anywhere? That 1111 is not an, it's not an angel number. <laughs> it's not some fantastical signal that something's about to go down. 1111 is an activation. 1111 is a download. And if you're seeing 1111, it's an indication you're being activated. You are being, you are receiving something from spirit that'll help you to go higher. And so many people are seeing it because so many people are waking up on the planet. At the end of the day, 33 is about what it means to you. 33 is about what that energy means to you. And I would recommend that you would go into meditation and you would take the vision, the visual of 33. You would take the energy of 33 and you'd simply ask God, what are you trying to say for me? And then go quiet in your heart, go quiet in your mind and see what God gives you. It might be just a feeling, love. God is giving you love. It might be an image of something that you're doing in the future. It might be a knowing. But until you ask the question about what this symbol means for you, you're not going to know. So I encourage your spiritual adventure in this regard. Thank you so much for asking an awesome question. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, I got nothing but love for you, baby. Join me this year at the 2019 Bliss Retreat in beautiful Loveland, Colorado. The Bliss Retreat is a four-night, five-day, blissed-out extravaganza where there will be sacred ceremonies, spiritual workshops, and nightly services with me, Crystal Ann Compton. Go to theblissretreat.org to learn more. I hope to see you there.